So me and Adam are off to do something a little bit different this morning. We are going to test a cargo bike out. So our local community have like a thing where you can kind of test out cargo bikes of different, um, well, like trikes and different types of models of them and stuff because it's an initiative to kind of go eco. So we've got a car that we hardly ever use and it was one of those things that we've always thought about. So getting to test one's quite good because you can kind of see what, how actually efficient it is, how you, how you use it, how, you, yeah, just get to know it a little bit better. So we're off to meet someone who's going to help us out, um, get us started on it, show us how to use it. Um, and then we're going to head out and do a shop um, take it around to Edinburgh and see how it goes. Um, obviously in other countries it's quite, a lot of people might already use a lot of cargo bikes and things, but here it's still a bit new. So um, I think it will be something in the future that a lot of people are going to take up. So yeah, it'll be quite interesting today to see how um, this goes. Stay tuned. <laughs> the view from the basket. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually very impressed so we picked it up from the lady and she's given it give us a, a really good um they go through everything with you how to use it how to change brakes and stuff how to corner because it's quite different actually cornering um and we're taking it up the prom just have a little shot and we go adam's driving at the moment i'm going to flop over soon um and we'll tell you a little bit more about the community scheme um because we've got a little bit more information from from Julian there, so yeah. This is good fun though, it's, it's really been a good laugh, isn't it? Woo -hoo. It's got some speed to it too. <laughs> well, he knows to get started at the junctions, you know, having that little electric boost, with that, especially when you've got someone in the front. <laughs> tell you a bit about the community project that we actually managed to tire this from so in Portobello there's the Portobello Community Energy Group um, and they're running a project uh, that we can just sign up online and then go and pick up any kind of um, well, they've got an electric bike they've got this cargo bike and they've also got a tandem and I think they sometimes get another kind of couple of odd little bikes every so often and you can just hire them for the day or you can hire them for couple of days which is great so you don't have to worry about storing them so me and Adam just hired it for the day um, and then we just hand it back and um, it's all run by volunteers as well so big thanks to them for coming down and um, 
it was Julian that helped us this morning. Um, she came down and for half an hour they show you how to use it, um, make sure that you're safe on it, give you top tips about like turning and stuff like that. Um, and they take you down and make sure that you've got a handle of everything. You always have to bring a helmet as well. Um, and it's the bike is actually from uh, Sustrans. So Sustrans like have a they've loaned it out to the community project, and then the uh, Portobello Community Energy Group have actually uh, loaned it out to like the community here. So it's definitely like what we find really useful is we've always kind of thought about the idea of it, but you know you, there's not much places you can try. So this is great for just being able to go online, hire it out, have a little bit of fun during the day. But we did take it up off their seat to see how it would cope with on the hills. And um, being in Edinburgh is quite a hilly city, so that was one thing that if you are worried about, this thing can handle it. Like I didn't even hit the top assist button and we were firing up there and half of it I had Adam in the front so um, it was a really good challenge. I mean like I you can depending on what you want to do as well I didn't a lot of the time didn't put the full assist on because I wanted a little bit more workout but when it's up to its full max you can just nip on quite well it's, it's quite a little speedy thing so taking on hills it was absolutely fine. Um, access to other little parts and pieces like you know getting onto infrastructure it's a perfect fit we managed to squeeze on bridges managed to uh, get into cycle lanes fine if they were blocked by cars um, managing to find somewhere to lock it up was really easy as well so so we're just I'm just showing you what from the handlebars like what kind of controls you've got you've got a little light that runs off the um, power then there's the little control button here you put press it on there and then you can up and down this is the assist that's how much battery power you've got used and depending on how much load that will go down so when I was, had Adam in the front going uphill it went down to two just to give you an idea of how much if you were to you know have that load in for your duration of your journey how much battery ex you're expected and as soon as he hopped out or we went back on the flat it went back up again so that's quite cool to to be able to control that and then you've got a nice little handy bag. Um, as well as your gears there. So one thing that we found out that was quite handy is if you are starting at a junction and specifically on like a hill, it's good to make sure that you're nice easy gear so that you, because the assist doesn't kick in instantly. So you get one kind of revolution of the pedal and then it'll hit in. So if you're stuck on an incline with a weight, make sure you've got that easy to get started. Because I was in a really high gear and I couldn't move, so we had to like kind of get out and chug it a little bit and then push it forward. But other than that, really simple and obviously your brakes as well. I think Jenny has said this is so much fun about 300 million times today. So it if you're... is, it's so good. It's just so easy to use and it's just so, like when you just need that extra little kick, stop here and not get run down, um, it just has the power to still. Everybody loves it as well, like everyone we pass smiles like and waves and just chuckles and stuff. I mean we have a full grown adult in the front of it all the time so maybe that is why we're getting a lot of like love from people. It's quite funny to see someone but um, it's just really comfortable and easy. Bubbles. Hey, this is Hazel. Um, so how did the Community Energy come to start and how can we hire one of these if you'd like to get into it? Yeah, so this was a six month trial and um, it's going to end pretty soon but we are hoping that we can get the funding together to have one that's permanent in Portobello because we've really proven that it's something yeah. that people really want. We've had over 300 people have a go on the bikes that we've had um, and we've lent it out over a hundred times um, to people that use it for everything and we feel like it could be a really nice important part of our community for that yeah. to enable people to Well the use biggest thing that we found was such a benefit of that was we don't have places to store a bike like this. So to be able to hire it for a day when we know for example all oh, this Sunday we're gonna be doing a big shop and we could hire that and just go and do it. Like exactly. it's been a godsend. So have you really seen it stand on its end? No. <laughs> so this is a cool thing about this bike is that it will stand up. I can show you if you like. So, yeah, so you can store it upwards. So you can store it upwards. Oh. So it doesn't actually take up much space to store. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah. people are worried about um, that. That's and the lots of people live in yeah. flats. So if we can have one place that it stores, and you know, it's also just useful to share our belongings, yeah. like and make sure that you get the main the main yeah. use out of it. Because that is one of the biggest issues with storage in a city, like a lot of flats or apartments or like small garages. So. They're gonna put it on um, 
It's good as well, you can work on the bike, you can look at what's going on underneath. You can clean it really easily. You can like clean that it as well. easily, but that <laughs> yeah. would fit in a, a cupboard? Yeah, that would. <laughs> or at the end or of even the like bottle. a landing somewhere that you can change yeah. it. And that was another thing, it was actually quite easy. Those chains that were, came with it were really easy just to lock it up, so we didn't feel like. You know, and like, the thing is, once you've got the motor, carrying a heavy chain is not a problem because you've got oh, power. So. We had Adam in the front going up some yeah. hills and he just put it on. As soon as like, you need a little boost just to get started, yeah. it was great. And um, you know what I loved? Everybody we passed was smiling and like um, somebody we actually somebody stopped us and asked like where it was from and stuff and we told them how to you know like what what it was all about. So yeah, yeah no, but we've had a really good day out, so thank you so much. Like, oh great, I'm <laughs> glad people it's one of those things that people are doing that it is really good value for the environment, for the community, but yeah. it's also really fun. It is, yeah. it's just and so much fun. The... And if they can get funding for this <laughs> to extend, like I would love that because it does, it brings the community together. We've just had a ball, so yeah. yeah, well, we're just so grateful to like all the volunteers who've made it possible. We really didn't have much, and also people like yourself doing videos like this that spreads the word. And it actually wouldn't be possible without people supporting. Yeah, we were saying Julian like took us through everything this morning, and you don't leave feeling like you don't know what you're doing. Like you took the time and to say that I was a volunteer on a Sunday morning to come down and do that. We yeah, were like, this, this is like. <laughs> but we do it because people come back with massive yeah. smells on their face and they tell you what a brilliant time they've had. You know, yeah, Adam it's... said, I don't know how many times Jen's actually said, like, this has been so much fun, it's so much fun. <laughs> so yeah, we'll definitely spread cool. the word. And, yeah, fingers crossed and good luck, like, getting and thank that you. Help to give you that fun, that's amazing. So. Yeah, just, this is really helpful. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so we have just handed the bike back um, to Hazel, and she just told us a little bit about the project and things, and she actually also told us that you can customize that bike so before you order it you can actually have tables and covers and no seat seats and added seats for babies and stuff so um it seems quite a good little bike so yeah but that has made our sunday quite a fun little activity to do um again massive thanks to um Porty community energy and to hazel and julian who helped us this morning they're all volunteers um and it's such a good thing to get involved in if you're a part of this community so i would recommend it Thanks for watching.